Other interesting cultural news, you have Appalachian High School shooter's father is being taken to court. Now, this has come to us thanks to Colin Rugg on the good old ex-Twitter. And she says, quote, new, Colin Gray rocks back and forth um, at the first hearing after his son took, I'm trying to keep this somewhat family friendly, killed four innocent people at the Appalachian High School shooting in Georgia. Ray was charged with involuntary manslaughter, second degree murder, and cruelty to children. The father faces up to a whopping 100 80 years in prison. His hearing will be on December 4th. Gray is accused of purchasing his 14-year-old son a rifle for Christmas. And there's actually the picture of the son who, and spoiler alert, looks like he's trans. Great hair. I, w I mean, uh, maybe I'm a little bit jealous of hair, but in all seriousness, yeah, I think his father is rocking back and forth because he knows his life is over. Actually, that's a... Maybe I'll, actually, I'll ask the Groke. It'll be faster and better than Google. Does... Uh, let's see, do they have the death penalty there? Oh, let me, we'll play the video first. Let me expand that over. This document that discusses bond and, and gives the David preliminary, preliminary hearing, and I guess um, I could sign that, and I think it would get approved. And then the warrant comes down to it. This, um, so just to check the good old Groke, and I asked, uh, does Georgia have the death penalty? Yes, they do. They say, yes, Georgia does have the death penalty. The state of Georgia uses lethal injection as a methodology of execution. However, like many states, the death penalty in Georgia has seen a serious decrease in execution in recent years due to various factors, including legal challenges, blah, blah, blah. So I suspect that will be an option for the judge, especially in the case of the son who actually did the shooting up school. Now, this one pretty valid. I got 740,000 views and 9.8 thousand likes. One of the first comments coming from Junita Broderick saying, quote, I think we're just hitting the tip of the iceberg of the story here. The rocking back may indicate mental illness or starting to withdraw from drugs, gaining 2.6 thousand likes. Alan responds today saying, I think he just realized how FD is gaining 2.6 thousand likes, which, and me a little column A, a little column B. There's, again, there's a lot of rumors about the family right now. I don't, I haven't seen any hard reports. There's some people saying that the parents are abusive. Some people saying the parents were inebriated and absent from the child's life, which that's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. I haven't seen any hard, hardcore facts yet um, on those specific points people are bringing up. Ringo Dog Giddy, interesting name. Perhaps he drums. Ha! Huh. It's a Beatles pun, but nevertheless. It says, quote, was Kirk's father arrested and charged? See here. Colin Ruck says no, but Crooks is also 20. Let's see here. Nicole Gray. I think there's a couple different reports on the age differences, though. Let's see here. Drew Hernandez says, quote, they're moving more swiftly in the case than the Trump assassination attempt. Makes you wonder. Yeah. Getting 5.5 thousand likes, which, uh, yeah, that's a, interesting how every time there's one of these incidents, yeah, they, uh, just usually the resource allocation of the U.S. government, what they care about. So, my three cents there. Used to be two cents, but 40-year hyperinflation, gotta be three cents. America Papa Bear says, quote, Mistakes were made. You shouldn't let your kids have unlimited access to firearms. This father needs to take the blame. In 119 likes. And in certain states, I'm not sure about Georgia, but there are certain areas in the United States where, by law, if you have children, you have to have the firearms either... They have, a, they have different methodologies in terms of the specifics, they do need to be secured, whether that be, in, in some states, you actually have to, by law, have to have the gun and the ammunition locked in separate um, safes. You know, some, they just need a trigger lock. Again, none of this is legal advice. But, yeah, in my, you know, I don't think that would, in terms of, you know, why this keeps happening, I don't think it's the firearms thing. We've had those for well, I mean, we have semi-automatic firearms for well over 100 years. The issue, we have, I think, is the biggest issue, culturally speaking, is the, I mean, decimation of just the family I mean, power parenting, and the, I mean, in this case, it looks like it wasn't a broken family, but that's usually more common in these incidents, but usually absent parents, parents are inebriated. I mean, very, very often do we see this happening when it's like a happy kid in a happy home. Now, you also have somebody named Chuck Costello saying, quote, pray for winter. This is a tragedy. We need to have a conversation about mental health in the country. Getting 361 likes. True. Now, the only downside to that is, do we trust the people in power to, to define mental health properly? Or do they just say, oh, we think those people are mentally ill. We're going to take away their guns. I mean, the FBI classified parents going to PTA meetings, voicing their concerns about students. They classified them as terrorists. 
earlier in 2000, was that end of 2023? So that's my concern is do we trust the government to actually classify people as mentally ill properly and accurately? Because I say, hell no, I don't, go, I don't care who's in char charge, left or right in the government. I don't trust them to accurately do that and in good faith. They, I mean, th throughout the years, they, they do not, the government does not deserve the benefit of the, of, of the doubt, I'm saying. Yeah, I've got the Eagleman says, quote, we need the whole story, getting 606 likes. See here. Paul Zupa says, quote, I don't see how either of the gray men go to jail for the, or do not go to the jail for the rest of their lives, getting 74 likes, which, I mean, I, I'm sure, I'm sure the state's going to probably push for the death penalty for this son. I would think so. He took, he literally took multiple lives away. So you also have Gray saying, quote, I'm going to ask this question again. If the parents have no say in their children, mutilating their bodies and transforming from male to female or meet female male. Why are parents to blame the child she's up at school? And 1.3 thousand likes. Hmm, interesting point. Let's see here. E says, quote, it's been two days since the Appalachian High School shooter in Georgia and we have the shooter in jail and his father in court. It's been 55 days since the assassination attempt of President Trump. What's going on? Yeah, interestingly enough, um, yeah. And just swept that under the rug, didn't they? And to this day, I don't think anyone's got fired from the FBI. You had the head of the FBI step down for her ineptitudes, but they are just being, they're on leave. So the government is probably a paid leave of absence. Now that did get 371 likes. Let's see, any contrary statements here? I don't think so. Down South Patriot says, quote, cutting off a child's sex organs equals, uh, equals parents have no say. A child committing crime equals the parents are at fault jailed. It doesn't sit well. I need more explanation than this. Getting 300, no, 600. 15, 616 likes. See here. Old school Eddie says, quote, quote, I'm a gun guy. I've always been. But that being said, this guy knew there was something off about his son and still bought him a firearm. I have no idea what this man was thinking. This kid should not have been anywhere near a firearm. He should have been held responsibly. He should be held responsible for the stupidity. 959 likes. But yeah, talk about a lapse of judgment if you... Oh, let's see. Oh, here's someone who says the whole clip so you can see. Son, here. All right, good morning, sir. Are you Mr. Colt Gray? Yes, sir. My name's Curry Mingledorf. I'm assigned to preside over this morning's proceedings. Uh, Mr. Gray, I do need to inquire as to whether you're able to read and write the English language. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I also want to inform you. Uh, well, I want to ask you, do you understand that you have the right to be represented by an attorney in these proceedings? Yes, sir. And you are, in fact, represented today, is that correct? Yes, sir. And Mr. Zane Harmon, you're here on behalf of this defendant, is that right? Yes, Your Honor. I want to inform you of the charges that you currently face. Um, in essence, you are charged with four counts of felony murder, as outlined in, um, in the state warrants that have been issued against you. I want to make you aware that the maximum penalty for felony murder, uh, so for each count, the maximum penalty is that you could be punishable by death, by imprisonment for life, without parole, or by imprisonment for life, with the possibility of parole. Uh, if you have any questions about these charges, then uh, I would urge you to discuss those with your attorney. Um, I would invite you, Mr. Harmon, to inform the court as to whether there's a request for bond at this time. At this time, Your Honor, there is not a request for bond. This hearing is concluded, and you may escort this defendant out. Wow. Wow. Uh. Uh, also, be more in his voice. I got 300 likes. Here, Jackie Chia has a contrarian opinion. Opinion, so it's especially fascinating. She says, "Quote: This might be an up unpopular opinion, but I don't think the parents should be charged with murder. They didn't commit the murder. He should be charged with with something that describes his actual crime. The son should be charged with murder because he is the one who committed it." She continued, saying, "Quote." And the father should be charged with some kind of criminal negligence for buying the gun, buying him the gun after already being warned that he was in danger, that he was in danger, rather. Yeah, the FBI, again, cliche, but yep, the FBI says he was on my radar. I think it was a year ago they had an interview with him, they had some concerns. 
So yeah, I, in terms of charging the father with the murder, that'll be, I mean, it's, it, at the end of the day, I think the father's, I mean, this is, we're talking about criminal charges here. They're going to be, again, and this is all, you can't say alleged, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be proved beyond reasonable doubt in terms of, I mean, especially in, I mean, civil court, that's where the, I think they're going to lose even more than everything. So when those charges come up as well from the families, in terms of the father, historically speaking, again, it's a state-by-state -state issue, and there's been different cases and precedents set, but, I mean, there have been cases where they charge the parents with the murder as well. I'm not sure what they'll go for in this specific instance. I mean, again, they're saying the father faced up to 180 years in prison. Now, it's got 568 likes. Steve Denny says, quote, the, uh, this is responding to her comment, says, quote, the boy is under 18, and that makes the parents liable as well. That got 25 likes. Now, she says, quote, that's not the case for thousands of crimes committed every day. Plenty of minors commit crimes, and their parents are not charged, even though the parents probably do a lot of wrong leading to said crimes. I don't think their father should be charged. Um, I do think this father should be charged with something. I just don't think uh, murder is it. I got 94 likes. Let's see here. Chuck actually responded saying, quote, I'm not sure the parents should be charged at all. It's literally unconstitutional, short of a chain that has him acting as a co-conspirator and placing the weapon in his hand, getting nine likes. And it'll be, yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's see. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts are in terms of I mean, do you think, I mean, do you think the father will be, I mean, will he face the same charge, basically the same charge? Will he get 180? I mean, will they get the death penalty after the father in this case? Or is that a possibility? Again, he's right now he's facing about 180 years in prison. What do you, what do you think the conclusion will be of this trial? Let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.